Hey guys, wanted to give you some suggestions, some ideas maybe on how to hold a home church this Sunday for you and your family. The next time we do get together at church, we're going to be beginning a series on the book of 1 Peter. So that might be an idea, first of all, uh, to read through 1 Peter on your own. 1 Peter is really about encouragement uh, during difficult times. And uh, really what he suggests is that we know where our home is, that our home is in heaven, that our home is waiting for us, preserved and imperishable uh, in heaven. And really throughout the book of First Peter, that's what he says to hold on to. And because of that hope, um, we are able to endure whatever we go through here on earth with grace and love and to stand out as a result of that. It's only five chapters long, and so you could easily finish it on a Sunday, and then you'd be ready to hit it when we get together. Another thing you could do is watch a really nice short video. It's about eight minutes long, and it gives you a great little quick overview of the whole book of First Peter, what it's about. It's animated, so it'd be kind of fun to watch. It's Bible, the Bible Project, and uh, I will put a link to that video in the description below. I also would recommend, uh, you got to listen to some songs, sing some songs, and so I would take a playlist that would be cool to look up on uh, YouTube. I'll put the link to that playlist down below as well, and it is uh, Sweet Fellowship, the album called Sweet Fellowship by Acapella. Aside from that, uh, I would say uh, a personal reading for you, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9. That is a prayer that Israel was taught. It's called the Shema, Hero Israel. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And uh, read my commandments, teach them to your children, bind them on your forehead and on your hands. That'd be a great little section of scripture to read. Bless you guys, and I hope this is a neat little experience. We'll just make the most of our time at home and our probably our first ever uh, home church service. Bless you guys.